Greetings everyone. In today's tutorial, we will quickly learn how you can add a top bar to your WordPress website. So basically, something like this. Let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now to add the top bar, let's open the browser and go to our sample site a let's learn something.com slash taste. So basically, this is our sample site, which is a default WordPress theme. We will be adding a top bar to this website. For that, let's log into its dashboard wp-admin. Enter the credentials. So now we are in the back end of our website. To add the top bar, go to plugins and add new. And search for the top bar plugin. So this is the plugin, install it and activate the plugin. You can find the top bar at the site admin panel. Click on it. So this is the simple settings for the plugin. The status is active. Position, I would like to keep it fixed. I will disable this. In the message, you can write the contact details. For example, email and phone, etc. For sales notices, you can also enable the button. Here will be the button text, the button URL, and let the URL open in the new window. Visibility to everyone, let the background color be black, and save changes. Let me open the site incognito mode. So as you can see, we have the top bar. This is fixed at the moment. If you keep the position standard, let me refresh this. It will work like this. Now for those who do not like this kind of default design, can also use CSS. For example, if you want to change the button background color, go to inspect element, and find the ID and add the background color. Most themes do have a place to add the CSS code. If not, then first copy this and go to your dashboard and go to appearance and customize. Go to additional CSS, paste it here and publish. Let me again refresh the site. It's looking all good. Now if you want to add icons, you can do that too. I will quickly show it by adding WhatsApp icon, but you will need to know some CSS. Let me again go to the dashboard. Go to the top bar. Oh, we are already on the top bar. So here's a little code. I have already uploaded the SPZ, which is this link. So basically, it's in the media with 25 by 25 pixels. By default, WordPress does not allow you to upload SPZ. So we have used the plugin Enable SPZ WP and ICU Upload. You will only have to install the plugin. Anyway, here's the email link. When someone clicks here, this will open. This is the email that will be displayed. Likewise, here is the phone and when you click on it, it will try to call this number and this number is displayed. And here is the WhatsApp link and here is a random WhatsApp contact. Copy it and paste it over here. I will also disable the button and save changes. Let me refresh this. So the changes are here. But we need to change the color of the text. So again go back to the dashboard. Go to Appearance and Customize and go to Additional CSS. We had given the whole div ID as top contact. Please note you must know a little CSS to fully customize it. After adding the CSS, publish it, close this, 
Now refresh the page. So this is working all good. If I click on email, I'm clicking on this link. Likewise, if I click on phone, I will be calling this number. And when you click on WhatsApp, so it will go to this number. Likewise, you can add multiple icons. You will however need to customize it with some CSS. I will provide the code used here in the link below. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you very much.